Hello everybody. What you're looking at is a beautiful brand new Raspberry Pi uh, version 2B, something like that. Whatever one that has the uh, 512 uh, megs of RAM, as well as the uh, two USBs and a network port. Anyway, uh, I would like to show you my setup. I have planned to turn this into my emulation station for primarily uh, well, the only thing it can do is uh, emulate ROMs for systems such as NES, Super NES, Sega. Uh, supposedly, systems all the way from I don't know, the Atari, Commodore, or whatever, whatever's older, and all the way to the PlayStation One. But uh, how everything's set up, I have my HDMI port going to my TV. I have an SD card there, so HDMI, SD card. I have my power port, which is a micro USB. I'll show you the other side of that in just a moment. I have a network uh, port with uh, this uh, network uh, cable plugged into my router. And then I have a USB cable. This USB cable is going all the way around to this uh, USB hub. It then goes into the back here, which is uh, the uh, uh, USB B, and then all the ports are you know, split out so that now I have four additional ports instead of just having the two that are uh, on the board. From there, we have this white jack right here, which is actually the other end of the power cord. So this USB hub is actually powering my Pi. And then the other port here, or the other jack that's plugged into my hub, is my Xbox uh, wireless receiver. And they are connected to both of my controllers, which one turned off. So we have one there, one there, both connected. And they are working. Um, I haven't actually used both controllers in game just yet, but uh, I just got this up and running a few minutes ago. So, as you can hear, I actually have Zelda running right now. So, if I use controller one, which I'll try and show you both on the same screen, I can press the down, up, uh, get the idea. All the buttons work. But something that's a little fancier, which I just uh, set up, is the ability to actually exit the ROM. So if I press both the select, or in the Xbox case, the back button and the start button at the same time, or at least press the select first and then start, it will exit out of the ROM, which is running, and bring you back to the emulation station. Uh, it's It starts when you do that uh, in the... Uh, I guess an idle mode, so it's it dims itself out, but you touch the button and it wakes itself back up. So I have Super Nintendo, only one ROM. I press the right button a couple times. I can cycle through the different emulators. Um, I only put in two ROMs, the rest came with it. So here's the other ROM I put in there, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But uh, I can start these games up, and just like that, we are in a new ROM. I can press start. And we're in. It's kind of hard with only one hand. Alright, and then I press the two magic buttons and bam, I'm out. Pretty quick. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that if you save a game, if you actually click save in the actual game, it only temporarily saves it in the game. Um, it won't actually physically save the game file until you actually shut down the Pi. And that does not count if you're just unplugging it. You actually have to shut it down. That I'm finding to be an issue. Um, I need to set up something for that. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, right now what I'm doing is, for at least at this point, just uh, opening up a putty session and running the shutdown command. Um, but that's something that hopefully, being I'm not having a keyboard or mouse plugged in, 
uh, I'll get that resolved. Um, I don't have a keyboard and mouse, uh, mainly because the fact that one, I don't want it, but another thing to add, this hub is about 2000 milliamps. Um, the Pi needs approximately 700 milliamps. Um, even though if I'm only running those two devices in theory, that should be enough. However, I'm finding out that, uh, when I ran the keyboard as well as the other devices in this manner, um, I started to get some issues like, uh, sticky keys. You'd press a button on the keyboard. It might take, and then it might not. Um, sometimes I did take, it would <laughs> repeat that same button a thousand times and keep going until you hit another button. So at first I thought that was a glitch with software, but it was a power issue. Um, and uh, editing the CMD line dot text file does not fix that. Um, I, every time I follow that instruction, I end up basically breaking it and I'd have to pull the SD card out and edit it in Windows and uh, put it back in afterwards. Um, so I wouldn't recommend messing with that unless you know what you're doing. Um, but what else do I want to talk about? Um, for right now, I guess that's it. Um, later on, I will go into more detail about how I have everything configured and set up. And also hopefully by that time I've tested things out and, uh, and, uh, put more ROMs and whatnot in the, in, in the uh, emulator station. All right. This is video one, day one, and uh, signing off. Bye.